your Son, Jesus, showed his great love for us by making the long, slow journey to his death. Because of his suffering and death, we have been freed from our sins. Because of his suffering and death, we are promised a place with you in heaven. We unite ourselves to him now by following his footsteps along this way of the cross. In doing this, may we learn to follow his way of love in all of us. We ask this, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lived and died for us all. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. According to custom, Pilate always sets free a prisoner to <coughs> He had to make a decision. Set free Barabbas or Jesus. Jesus was put on trial. Pilate realized he was not making an impression on the crowd, and that a riot was breaking out instead. Even though he did not understand what Jesus had done to make the people angry, he took the easy way out. Pilate was forced to condemn Jesus to death. God, we are hurting because we, like Jesus, have often been wrongly accused. We reach out for understanding. Help us not to join the crowd in condemning others. Help us not to try to wash our hands of the consequences of our decision by making excuses and pretending that it isn't really our fault. Teach us how to follow you. Jesus, take my
Jesus is so tired as he walks along the road with the heavy cross on his shoulders. The cross keeps pushing into his shoulder, and the stones on the road hurt his feet. People yell and push him. The, sh the soldiers shout for him to move faster. Then Jesus falls, and the soldiers yell at him to move. How tired Jesus is. Jesus prays in his heart. God, help me remember that you are here. Jesus, forgive us for the times we have shut others out and refused to help. Help us to be aware of their needs. Like you, Jesus, we recognize our human weakness, our vulnerability to sickness, moments of depression, and compulsive behavior. We learn from you that it's okay to have human frailty, for it is God who saves us and heals us in our humanity, not humanity itself. Teach us how to follow you. Turn to, Lord. Who 
Who but you will save us? Who but you cares enough for us to help? Lord, we cry out to you for help. In your mercy, hear us. Teach us how to follow you. Jesus, 
We are weak and selfish at all times in our relationships with others, especially with our parents, brothers, sisters, friends. We find ourselves doing the very things we hate and not doing the things we really want to do in our heart. Help us to experience your forgiveness and grow beyond our selfishness in the experience of your love. Teach us how to follow you. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.
Father, we reflect now on the times when we have not helped our brothers and sisters. No, instead we have put them down, laughed at them, made them feel like outcasts. We have lied and cheated to get, our, to get what we wanted, rather than put in the effort necessary to achieve our goals. In a way, we have hung you on the cross, and have left you there. We have shown you no compassion. Forgive us, Lord. Teach us how to follow you. <coughs> Just as he's suffering here now in hate. And somehow, that is comforting during this time when the pain is so great. Lamb of God, you were slain for our sins. You offered yourself to us for our own sinfulness. Sometimes we don't understand the magnitude of what you did for us died and suffered so that we could be saved. God needed someone perfect like you to die so that there was someone worthy enough in heaven so that people who were less perfect like us can have eternal life with you. Jesus, we are so grateful for what you did for us. Thank you for your suffering and forgiveness. Teach us how to follow you. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. stone over the entrance so that no one can enter. 
What looks like the end is just the beginning. By dying for us, new life you are winning. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have done. Thank you, Father, for giving your son. Jesus, you were buried by the few people who came back to you in the end. In all your suffering and loneliness, you kept your love for God. Even in your despair and pain, you relied on God. You offered yourself as a sacrifice to save us from our own sinfulness. Sometimes we don't understand the magnitude of what you did, but by carrying the cross, you were carrying the weight of our sins. Each time you were whipped, each time you were hurt, each time your hands and feet were pierced by the nails, you were healing our diseases. You were sacrificed so that we could go to heaven. Oh, how you must love us, Lord, for we are unworthy of your forgiveness. Yet you love us despite our unworthiness, and you suffered for unworthiness, and forgave our unworthiness, and you did it all for us. We are truly grateful, Lord. the joy that Jesus won for us by suffering and dying. Let us not leave this journey in tears, but in rejoicing and thanksgiving. Let us not leave Jesus in the darkness of the tomb, but remember the wonder that follows. May our lives reflect the same unselfish love that Jesus showed for us. We thank you for the terrible lesson of this journey, and especially for giving us your only Son. May you live in our hearts and lives forever.